story. Um, I always start off by saying I'm not here to share a story of being a rape victim, but of being a survivor. But one night, something strange happens. I was at my boyfriend's apartment and we watched a movie. And when we were together, we basically, we had no worries. It was fun, we were in love, everything was perfect. But that night, he looked at me in a way that told me that he was, he was worried about something. He took a hold of my hands, and then he asked me if I had heard about the SMU girl that had been raped. But I didn't want to think about that. To me at that time, rape, that was something that we only heard about in the media. Something that happened far, far, far away in an other world, not here, on our campus. In a perfect little world that we lived in. But two weeks later, this is me, in the hospital, after the worst night of my life. It makes me absolutely sick to think back upon that night, how I responded to my boyfriend at the time. I was making a joke out of it. And then it happens to me. And here I am, in the hospital, after being kidnapped at gunpoint and gang raped by three men. But still, when I was there in the hospital, all I can think of was this. What now? What do I do? Who will I be after something like, after something like this? I asked all of these questions. Should I tell anyone? Or should I remain silent? And during that conversation, my mom told me that, Monica, I can hear strength in your voice. And know this, that we are in this together. And by her telling me that, that we were in it together, I didn't have to feel alone anymore. That's when I realized that, yes, I think I will be able to find back to a normal life. But there I stood. The light was real lit. And that was a sign to me that in the darkest of moments, there's hope. And sometimes that's all it takes. One person that can turn to you and say, you know what? There's still hope. I'm here to show you that there's hope. We know that rape is a challenge all over the country, all over the world. But we have to start with our campus. What can we do? What can you do? Follow your gut feeling. Whenever something feels uncomfortable or wrong, speak up. Speak up on the behalf of your friends and speak up for yourself. Respect each other and respect yourself.